Hi, thanks for using my court coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor today as we talk about the response to governmental notice of motion or order to show cause, also known as form FL-685. If you are filling out this form, it's likely that you have been served by your local child support agency with a notice of motion or order to show cause. So as with all our court forms, you wanna fill in your identifying case caption information at the top. Below that, you're going to list the hearing date, time, and department that is listed on the notice of motion that you were served with. You just want to copy over that same information. Below that are some boxes to check. You want to look to the notice of motion that you were served with for guidance on which boxes you need to check. Whatever issues are checked on that form are the same issues you want to respond to and check on this form. So if parentage is marked, and it might be the child support agency needs to first determine parentage before they can ask you to pay child support, then you would also mark parentage and you would say you do or do not admit that you are the parent of the children or if there's multiple children listed and you believe you are the parent of some of them but not all of them, then you can identify that below. Um, if child support is at issue, the options are that you either consent to the order requested or you are requesting a different order. Um, same with health insurance coverage. If that is a box that is marked on the notice of motion you were served with, then you want to respond to that and then indicate whether you are consenting to the order requested or you're requesting a different order. And you would specify what that order is here. Attorney fees and costs, um, you either, if that is marked or that's a request being made of you, then you'd want to mark box four and indicate that you do or do not consent to the order requested. Property restraint, it's unlikely that a property restraint issue would be brought by your local child support agency, but if it is marked, then go ahead, mark this box as well and indicate whether you do or do not consent to the order requested. Or if the form, the notice of motion that you were served with has an other box and there's something that is not specified above that is being requested, then again, you would want to indicate whether you do or do not consent to the orders requested. The next page has a space for you to list facts in support of your position. If this is not enough space, you can always attach a separate sheet of paper, write facts in support continued at the top of it, and then mark this box that says contained in an attached declaration. So the person that is reading this form knows that there is additional information being provided. Then you want to sign and date the form at the bottom. Make sure to print your name as well. Then you're going to have to have someone else fill out the proof of service. There should be someone who is over the age of 18, um, not a party to this case, and uh, in this instance needs to also be a resident or employed in the county where the mailing took place. That person would need to fill in their address in line two and indicate the date this form was mailed, what city and state it was mailed from, and where it was mailed to. And then that person would also need to type their name here and sign and date, and then this form is ready to be filed. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.